What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be doing a review on Kamara. We have got some foot, champ, foot champs games to finish off. Well, you know what? We'll bring in a team. I'm, I'm feeling like we need to kind of mix it up a little bit. Every week of foot champs at the minute, we are just playing the exact same team. And the upgrades from our team are millions, which to be honest, takes a while to get. So I'm thinking, have a bit of fun. We're going to change the team around week on week. We're going to maybe use more of a promotion team. And I've seen uh, nick 28 do it. Um, so I'm feeling like that's going to be the move. Um, but today we're looking at Kamara. He's currently, um, I bought him for 185 yesterday. I want to say he's probably dropped a little. Yeah, so he's looking about one, say 150, 160. I want to say, or maybe even more close to 160, yeah. Looking at a bit more closer to 160 than anything. Looking decent, to be honest. Good good pace, good defending and physicals. Um, at the minute, I've not chosen a chem style for him, mainly because I'm not too sure what I want. Obviously, I probably will sell this guy um, later on down the, the road. Um, but looking at everything else, I'm pretty impressed so far. We've got decent composure on him. Pace, like I say, is good. Put a shadow on him, to be honest. And you've got a very, very nice center back there. He'll have plus 90 pace. Um, defending will be plus 90. Pretty much most things will be maxed out. Um, physicals, aggressions 88. Strength 82, I like 87 stamina, 78 jumping with a basic goes up to 83. Um, what else, dribbling wise? 90 ball control, 86 reactions, good short and long pass. Honestly, a very, very nice center back to go into League on with. Um, I feel like they've struggled this year. I feel like they've really, really struggled for a decent center back. We've seen headliner Thiago Silva, personally, doesn't have the pace. Marquinhos, again, another very average center back. I'm feeling like this guy right here is actually a very, very nice centre-back. I think you could partner him with, I believe, is it the Ligon Milestone? I believe he's a centre-back, the Japanese lad. Um, you could partner them two together. French, obviously, you can go with Larissa in that. You could go with an icon keeper. Um, or you could go with Navas. He's got an 89. For me, this year, keepers don't really make too much of a difference. So I think when you come into this sort of level, um, personally, I'm... Quite happy with Allison on seven. So we're going to jump into some games, see how he goes. Um, obviously, this is all done on stream. So if uh, you want to come and pop along, we're going to try and do player reviews and all that kind of good stuff on stream as well. Um, whenever I can, I'm gonna. I'm in the middle of making a schedule for it. So links will be down below. I know in the previous videos I haven't actually put them, so I'm going to put it as a template. So they will be uh, they'll be there for you when uh, when you come next time. So we'll have a look into a game then. So coming into the first match, we are against Neymar. Ver Werner's got one link. Troy Ray, I don't know. I don't know about his team. Burkham's looking nice. Herrera was going to be my choice in the icon swaps, but we ended up doing the mid-icon pack. Um, a video will, uh, for that is coming out. If you could guess who it is, um, he is on the team. So any, I've only got one mid player in my club, so you obviously could guess. So let's see how Kamara does. I'm kind of excited for him. I feel like he genuinely looks... Decent, very, very nice centre-back from Lee Gun, But I'm hoping this guy really doesn't have to attack much. Oh, no, one more. No, he's following him. And again to Neymar. Inside. A cross goal. Oh, nearly. Zidane. Oh, he's got it back. He's going to go for that run with Traore. Kamara's on him. Can we do anything? Is he going to cut in? Kamara gets the tackle. I like it. Stops him enough. Obviously, he did get the pass in, so it's lucky Cannavaro is there. But he does get the uh, the well-needed push, at least. Oh, hey, Kamara with a great challenge. Cannavaro does the job. Essien out. Kamara. Watch that run. He's gone for it. He's gone for a little pop shot. I threw it to a person that really shouldn't have had that. Kamara, well-needed block right there. We've got a bit of speed up lag, and I have kicked the ball into his feet. Cannavaro, if if anyone has tried Cannavaro's baby, you know just how good he actually is. Oh, and Messi! Get in, son. Half-time, doing pretty well. Kamara's done really well next to uh, Cannavaro. I think, to be honest, Cannavaro makes anyone look good, to be honest, but... Decent performance. We're doing well. We're 1-0 up. That's all I can uh, can really hope for. We need to get another one definitely to be more comfortable. Uh, but I feel like this guy really isn't challenging us too much, which is always a nice thing. 
Messi, he doesn't miss from there. Never misses from there. You let him get that touch and he's he's gone. He's absolutely gone. Using the new Frostbite kit as well, if you uh, didn't know what that was. I don't know, um, EA Access kit. Uh, personally, I've never even noticed them, really. It's like one of them ones where you, you know where you're going. That's a great touch. It's Kent. Give it him. Oh, he's gone. See, this is it. This is the moment. Can I, Kamara, oh, he's oversold it. Oh, and he's got it back, and he's keep it. I don't know what he's done. Damn it. But he definitely can be. It's great from Kamara. Good tracking. Oh, it's, it's definitely done him. Uh, and he's got the rebound in the 92nd. That is brutal. Should not have lost this match at all. Oh, it just had, we couldn't have held off for that. I didn't even realize how close it was, but that, that's going to be it. Unfortunately, we lose the first game, taking us to 7-4. and four. Poor, very, very poor. We should definitely not have lost that one. We've got a 5-bar, so hopefully that's good. Team we're coming up against again. We've got uh, Griezmann, Semedo, Juan uh, Jesus. Okay, decent, decent. Griezmann, Mbappe, Kante. Same, same old, same old. Crespo there. Not really seen Crespo being used in a long time now. He seemed to be the, the big, the big I am from Icon Swaps One, and then suddenly everyone's just replaced him. But we'll see how he goes. Obviously, this guy's been here from the start. He's got screen PK still, um, and then that inform or red at least uh, Semedo, who I really, really like. He was in the team for such a long time. Probably would still be in the team now if it wasn't for Trent. Right, let's. We need. We need to do better. That's. That's what we need. But it's like like this. Kamara with a beautiful tackle. That's half time. But we've had a lot of shots in this in this game. Um, blocked a lot of them. Realistically, his keepers made what two free saves. I want to say. Apart from that, his defenders are just all over Messi and Mbappe. Um, it's a struggle. It's a big, big struggle. Of course. Of course, honestly. Again, we're doing a lot better. That that was much better. Slower play. We we did well, but Essien's definitely coming off. Conte is just a just an unreal CDM. Kamara with a great challenge on Troy Ray. Then it's going to be a great ball to Troy Ray. Kamara, eyes. Oh, uh, it's a great tackle from Allison, and again we just so going on to Kamaro's overall review for what 160 170 as a league on player fantastic really really good value for money um, as a defender in total I'm thinking if we look at 170 ish at a high price um, Thiago Silva is definitely a no Duan Jesus isn't terrible um, personally he's probably one of the better ones you can get for that price um, I do. I do want to see what um, you could get Varane, you could get some uh, some justice. Um, I want to see what uh, Van Dijk's price is like. To be honest, if you're looking at uh, decent centre backs, very similar to Varane's sort of level. Um, obviously, it doesn't offer the links that Varane does with La Liga, but with French does. Um, Van Dijk's price. Where's my Van Dijk? He's here. Um, with Van Dijk, you've got how much more? So he's about four fifty. So. You're looking at 300k more. I think Van Dijk for me is is the best defender in the game. Um, but this card is definitely up there. Probably top, top what? If you go in and out of icon players, top five. You've got Varane. You've got uh, Van Dijk. Um, I'm trying to think of other specials that have really hit the nail on the head recently. Um, special wise, you've got I suppose Varane's headliner again is is decent. Um, who else have you got? In fact, I'm trying to think of centre backs outside of anything like. You've got Varane Van Dijk. Manolos is not that bad. Duran Jesus as a lower version at the minute is decent. I think that is more expected to go up. Um, is it that St. Justice kid? Him. Again, another one um, who's very good. Quebec, I've heard, is quality, who we will be trying out. Um, I think apart from that, you've that that's realistically the top centre-back you can get outside of icons. So I think, realistically, a very good value. If you have got a league on squad or at least got maybe an icon that is French, you could link him up pretty easily. I feel like French or France, at least in this year, um, is, a, a, is a very sought-after nation. You've got the Footmas Mendy is a great card. Even just Gold Mendy is still a quality card. Then you've got Larissa in there if you wanted to just go France. Varane, Lenglet, Umti, um, all French centre-backs. 
Zidane as a CM, you've then got Vieira, you've got Blanc, there, there's multiple options for him. So I think for the price, it's it's decent. I feel like you could get, obviously, Varane for cheaper, who is roughly on the same sort of wavelength. I think what this card kind of offers you is very, very good passing, high composure. Like, even just looking at the stats, they're very up there. Um, even though they won't upgrade compared to Varane's uh, headliner. But, again, headliner Varane is a lot more than this card. A lot more than Van Dijk as well. But I think... Realistically, if I'm going off merit, I feel like a very good centre-back. Good at tackling, good at last-minute tackling. Um, even though we did kind of have a bit of a rough performance in, in them foot champs games, we still saw good good stuff from him. And that, that's the main thing for me, is, is just seeing what we can get out of him. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe down below. Um, again, like I said, if you want to come and hop on the streams, you can come watch them. Um, personally, I'm giving him a solid 8 out of 10. I feel a very good centre-back and a 10 out of 10 for Lee Gunn. Um, um, definitely the best centre back you can get in Ligue 1 currently, um, as well as that um, Japanese kid for the milestone. A little bit more grinding, but does come technically free, just requires time to get. So, apart from that, make sure you enjoy this video. If you did, like I said, like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.